Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking about what inside the ball means. This is a huge part of hitting. You've got to be inside the ball. We call it being from the inside out. When it comes to hitting and being successful and being consistent, your bat path is hugely important. The bat path has two components. The first one is being slightly up into the hitting zone. We're not going to cover that one today. The second part of it is being from the inside out. And so if you can get both of these components of your bat path correct, being slightly up, being from the inside, you'll be a consistent hitter. You'll be a good hitter. All right. And there's a lot of misconceptions on what does it mean to be inside the ball? How do you get inside the ball? We're going to talk about all that today. First thing, when I make my turn to hit, my barrel, when I say from the inside, what I mean is that when I make my turn to hit, my barrel should be close to my body, right? So here I go, my barrel's close to my body, I continue to turn and attack, and I am coming from the inside, and I can let my barrel out as much as I want. So if the ball's away, I can let my barrel out away. If the ball's middle, I can let my barrel out middle. If the ball's in, I can stay inside and get the ball in. I can make those adjustments from the inside. I can go away, middle, in, okay? If you think about it here, think about this yellow line. We'll lay this yellow stick on the plate to give the hitter uh, a visual cue of how we want their barrel attacking. We want to attack down that line. And like I said, if I'm inside, I can always let the barrel out to any pitch and I can stay in if I need to. Now the opposite of this is being out to in. And so once your barrel gets out away from you, see how much distance there is here from my shoulder to my barrel? When my barrel gets out here, two things. One, I'm exposing the bad part of the bat to the ball, right? I'm gonna get jammed a lot. I'm out and around the ball. And so, here we go. I don't wanna hit the ball here. That's gonna hurt my hands. The ball's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So that's one thing. Two, really, it's, let's go three things. Number two, it's a longer, slower swing. And so if I wanna be quick to contact, this is just a longer path. And so I'm gonna have trouble hitting the ball, especially good velo if I'm taking forever to get there by having a long swing. Three, I'm gonna have a hard time driving the ball the other way. So if the pitch is away and I attack it out here, right? So what happens is I get here, from out here, my barrel then has to start to come across. And so if the ball's away, I'm gonna hit that ball and I'm gonna have a hard time driving it away. What usually happens is you'll fillet the ball. The ball will do this to right field. It won't be good backspin. And so if you hit balls to right field that you can't drive it, you don't feel like you have power the opposite field, well then you're probably out to in and you're filleting the ball. So the ball's out here. And instead of, instead of squaring it up that way, your barrel's here, it's cutting across and you're just hitting the ball like this. Your barrel's coming this way, you want to hit it that way. And so you can't put the full force of the bat into the ball and drive it, right? So it makes it hard to hit the ball away, but then if the ball's middle or even worse in, I can't keep it fair. I'm gonna hook it. And so if you're a righty, and anytime the ball's in, you hook it foul, you pull it in the third base dugout, or you just hit it and it's got hook spin. It doesn't stay true. You don't have back spin. Well, you're probably attacking it from out here instead of from the inside. So that's inside the ball. I gotta be inside the ball. How do I do it? A lot of people think you go inside the ball by doing this, right? I see that example a lot. If you ask someone, show me inside the ball. 
But if you take a pat, if you go inside the ball like this, you're not gonna have any bat speed. You're pushing the bat. You're also gonna probably be down through the ball because you're not turning the barrel behind the ball early enough. And so this isn't inside the ball. Inside the ball requires two things. It requires my upper body to make a move back and not forward and not to the left. If I go forward, I push forward and down. If I go out to the left, my barrel gets out away and then I cut across. If my upper body goes back, I can get myself inside. That's the first thing. The second thing is that my barrel has to go back with me. Upper body, barrel, both back. As I keep turning, my leg keeps turning, now I'm inside the ball. I'm inside it, but I'm also slightly up through the hitting zone, okay? So I need this and my barrel to go back. If you haven't watched our other videos, go watch them. We talk about turning the barrel, barrel turn. What does that mean? How do we get palm up, palm down? How do we get the barrel to go back? We have to have both of those. If I have my upper body going back, but I still throw my arms out here, I'm not gonna be inside the ball. So I have to have both, okay? So hopefully that helps you out. Inside the ball is a real thing. It is really important, but you gotta do it the right way. If you don't do it the right way, you're not really inside the ball, right? And you can go to any hitting place in the country, any game in the country, right? We've got lessons going on all over the place right now in here. And you're gonna hear people all the time say, hey, stay inside the ball, inside the ball. You'll hear every parent, every coach, every player, everything, inside the ball. And 95% have no idea what how do I get inside the ball? <laughs> what does it mean, right? I was told it my whole life. But if you don't know how to do it, all you have is player gets around the ball, hey, inside the ball here. Player gets around the ball, hey, stay inside the ball here. Player gets around the ball, hey, inside the ball here. Player gets lucky, hits the ball, well, that a baby, way to stay inside the ball. Player gets around the ball, hey, inside the ball here. It's like, oh, hello, right? And so just saying inside the ball isn't gonna help anybody unless you know how to do it. Then when you know how to do it, you're able to do it consistently over and over again. And then you don't have to say anything. Because when the hitter gets around the ball, they're like, they know it right away. They're always inside, 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 because they're doing this. All of a sudden they get around it one time, boom, I, I can see that, I can feel that, back inside the ball. All right? hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you later. If you've enjoyed this video and want to learn more about building the elite swing, check out our new course. We have over two hours of content, almost 30 hitting drills. We break down the exact mechanics that you're going to want to implement into your swing. I've put the link in the description if you want to go check it out.